Hello out there, and today we're going to be doing a quick no judgment overview of a prototype from Concept Knives. And Concept Knives, if you haven't heard of them, they are a new company that was started by a designer who worked with Kaiser for a very long time. His name is Kim Ning, you can actually see it on the blade here. And it looks like he is just starting his own thing and has a number of models coming out. I think the first ones are actually releasing very, very soon. And then there's a bunch of prototypes that are out there as well. This is one of them. And this one, I have to thank my buddy Carlos from Daily Carry Solutions for. He actually added this to the Give a Knife, Take a Knife Pass Around, which is currently headed to Jack Farm Boy. And so this will be an option for someone to take and keep and add to their collection, which is especially crazy because this prototype is one that I haven't seen anywhere else or in any catalog. It's different from anything else I've seen from Concept Knives, which is also part of the reason why this is going to be a no judgment kind of overview because I don't know if this is a like very early kind of prototype and, and something that was maybe a sample and the design was adjusted and then scratched or if this is an advanced prototype that we might eventually see. You know, I, I don't know exactly what the future is with this model. So let's just get into it and I'll explain all of that away. So uh, Concept Knives, they're doing uh, a lot, it seems, in just the, the basic EDC kind of size range. If we do a comparison real quick, you know, here it is next to a bug out. So this is going to be pretty EDC friendly for most people. A little bit larger than the bug out, but you get the picture here that it is a, uh, you know, a pretty agreeable middle of the road, um, going to be satisfying to a lot of people kind of size knife. There's the PM2. So, you know, like many things, it is a shorter knife overall than the PM2, but it is uh, longer in cutting edge. Um, but the thing that makes this one unique, so this is called the Warrior, right? And you can see it says Warrior right here. It's called the Warrior, but the Warrior prototypes that I've seen that are actually going to production look very different from this. The blade shape is very different. The inlays are very different. Uh, the actual handle design is extremely different. And I haven't seen anything that looks quite like this that is going to be coming to market anytime soon. So, you know, maybe that will change, but this design seems to be a very unique kind of either sample or test or, you know, just some kind of like exploratory R&D kind of thing that maybe wasn't chosen. I don't know, it's all speculation, which again is why, um, I really can't pass judgment with anything except excitement for the design because this design and this blade shape actually I think are fantastic. You know, I really love this kind of shape that comes to the, the point like this, but a little more belly. You know, if you think about some of the models and excuse me, I might try to reach into my drawer and see if I have one right here. But um, a lot of the models that I'm really into, and of course I don't. Um, they have this kind of shape, you know, at the tip, but they don't have this level of belly as it comes down. So it just makes for an interesting overall shape. And, and I hope eventually Concept will produce a knife that does, you know, look like this, at least in the blade. Um, some other interesting design characteristics is the way that the jimping is done. But the big thing I really like is this inlay. The inlay of the burlap, I mean, again, no judgment here uh, as far as the execution of it goes because maybe they were just slapping something together. But uh, that said, it does look pretty darn clean. And there is some contouring and curvature here that you can't see that well, but it's definitely there. And the fact that, you know, this is so nice and flush and finished so well and, you know, connecting really well with this frame, which has, there you can see that orange peel. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks good. It's an exciting thing. It is interesting how similar this is to Kaiser. You know, I, I understand the gentleman maybe left the company and started his own thing. And um, I don't know exactly what the circumstances there were, if it was friendly, if it wasn't friendly, you know, and, and I don't know exactly about production. But if you take a look, you know, at just some of like the printing and the markings, I mean, like the numbers and and that system is pretty similar to what Kaiser uses the K and then the number like that's what the Kaiser knives look like, so yeah it, it does and actually the font is pretty similar to some of the stuff you see on Kaiser's too so yeah I don't know exactly um, what that situation is if the production could be in the same place who knows you know and and, and again it's just a lot of speculation uh, this knife locks up really well the D10 is super soft. 
Um, that doesn't mean that it's smooth, but it is very easy to, uh, to just um, flip out. Not particularly snappy, but again, who knows where they were in terms of development when this particular knife was made. So, yeah, I'm not going to go too much further into it. I will just uh, wrap things up, maybe give you a few minutes and closer looks at things as I rotate around and show you what we have. Um, I'm sure already at this point I've inserted some pictures of the other concept knife models that are out there and especially the warrior design of how it actually is going to be. So you have that information, but definitely check up, excuse me, definitely check out Concept Knives, their website, and see what's going on because this seems like a, a company that might be legitimate and for real and could compete with some of those Kaisers and Best Techs and even Wii's of the world in terms of getting good new models out there, hopefully at a reasonable price. All right, so like I said, just a few more seconds of uh, showing off the knife, and uh, that'll be that, guys. So thanks very much for watching. Take care, and I will talk with you soon. Have a good one.